wanted to show you guys these new cups that I got to store my paint. The lid's a lot more solid plastic and the older ones and they stay on the cup really firmly and there's I don't think they would spill at all so I'll go ahead and link that in the Amazon link below as updated cups in case you're interested in buying those. Today I'm going to be trying a Bren Zen creation. If you haven't checked out her channel she makes some really awesome pours and she just started a YouTube channel has a few videos so I'll link it below for you to check her out but I thought now that she's shown us how she makes her awesome creations, I would try one out myself. So I added a few extra colors to her signature color style. Um, I'm adding the phthalo turquoise and the gold into mine. But do check out her channel to see how she does it because I think that um, mine went a little bit wrong. I like the end result, but it went a little bit wrong, so I'm not sure I quite replicated what she does. It's kind of a combination of... A vertical wandering straight pour so um, I really enjoy doing this technique. I would have never guessed that's how she got the pattern that she did but I think it's really neat and I'll be doing a few more of these so go check it out. So here I was really debating whether or not to pour off that orange section on the left hand side. So I decided to pour off a little bit of it but I kind of wish I had left it now. This So this is really not as easy as it seems. You kind of, I guess I'm used to looking at it as more of a horizontal pour so for me it was a little difficult to try and decide where things should go vertically. 
Um, so I struggled a little bit with the composition here, but I kind of like the orange part, but I thought it was too much, and I'm kind of glad that I poured it off in the end. grayish monochrome right hand side of this painting. I'm trying to turn it into some nicer composition but in the end I, I don't know if it's because there was no copper in this section or it just got really muddy. Um, even though I did two cups because I thought that might happen, apparently I need three cups. So this is kind of where I had to do a little bit extra after I looked at it and it was bothering me too much. I decided to go ahead and pour another little cup for that section, not really knowing how it would work since I already stretched out the rest of it, but definitely the professional Brinzen creation, she, she does it in like one cup, and I have no idea how she didn't end up with mud, but I got mud even with two cups, so um, I definitely thought that it needed a third, and let me know what you think if the third one helped it out or not. So hopefully on my next try I cannot waste as much paint. Um, this is actually the second painting I did. The first one I may or may not make a video of, and I used two cups on that one, and apparently I'm going backwards and I'm using three on this one. Mm -hmm. 